welcome to some new quick tip here on FX VFX Hive. Today I want to present you some interesting um, techniques how you can make your destruction with wooden and splinter like cells and um, different approaches how you can simulate wood and um, frames that are wood like and as you can see here in the preview i have also some clusters flying around here so with the new cluster nodes inside of houdini you were able to stick your fragments together and make them even more interesting so we have a lot going on here in the simulation so let's have a look into into the uh, actual system and as you can see here i have an, a simple voronoi fracture uh, tree created with some x form that is creating the splinter uh, cells inside of the church i used very very small values to make the fracturing appearing very small and this is going into this Vornoi fracture point node where you can see that I am using uh, impact radius of uh, 5, 5 and 0 0.5 and this is creating very small and tiny um, wood fractures that you can use for your animation or procedural destruction and everything else here in the setup is made into this RBD interior detail which is some of the new nodes of Houdini Houdini 75 17.5 uh, and um, you can pretty much adjust your interior detail with with this node here i'm using a small detail size because uh, when you have some um, wood piece and you break it apart then you have um, very small element details and those elements are then going into a noise into the noise settings where we are using an amplitude of two 113 noise type here is uh, noise fast and this is creating this interior detail you can see here those um, interior fragments as you can see here And this is going pretty much back into a transform node where I used some little code for the it's um, one divided by the channel of the X form, which is the one here above, and it's uh, then divided by the size. So in that with that um, piece of um, code you can pretty much bring back the transformation of your file when you um, adjusted the wood splinter cells to your model and this is how it looks when when the whole thing is fractured so you have very long stretch planks that are making up the fracture points in your Voronoi fracture here and um, what else do we have I have the cluster node here which is creating those attached pieces of the of the creation and a good um, approach to check your setup is, is often to bring in an exploded view 
with the exploded view you are able to see how your object is looking with a, a detached transformation and there you see all the fracture parts and the cluster detail and you can bring it out and make it make it larger and there you see all the points and fractures of the simulation and this exploded view is always a good way to make sure your setup is is working okay so let's bypass it uh, to see the end result and uh, what else do we have yeah normal dop import the dop import is for the animation of the procedural destruction and um, and this is all going into a file cache node to cache out the animation which you have seen at the beginning so the most important part to make those splinter splinter cells here is pretty much the transformation that fits into the um, Voronoi fracture points to make sure everything gets stretched out in a, a wooden wooden plank way and then we have the Voronoi fracture here that is creating the fracturing for us so um, try to rebuild the setup make sure you have everything in place here like I have uh, created here in the in the in the tree and um, make your own uh, wood fracture uh, uh, creations so uh, let's have at last a look into the autodop network the autodop network is the place where the dynamics take place the dynamics of the simulation here we have a static object which is a demon the demon is inside of this church here it's actually an, an alembic file that was animated in max yeah you can see he's stretching his wings making some funny movements and we have the church here which is an rbd fractured object which is then fed into the rigid body solver and making the simulation happen so um, so thanks for watching i hope you have some something learned in this short quick tip and if you have questions just post inside of of the comment section and um, I would very appreciate when you subscribe to the channel and um, have a great day see you soon bye bye